Is there any, what is the one thing that you think that most people misunderstood about both yourself and Jeshua as they walk the earth? That there was some absolutely delightful everyday family life. Um, I had my two older siblings, as I said. Um, I have re-met them um, in this lifetime as Wendy, which is amazing. I have re-met both of my parents from that lifetime. And uh, the friend I mentioned who Wendy trained with for the uh, channeling, she was Yeshua's youngest sister. So we have met many people from that play run, so to speak, from that timeline, from that lifetime, have re-met um, in this lifetime. And it, it, was, it was the family and friends piece um, of what we all come here for, of just the happiest, just those happy relationships in, in a body. So there was, because I imagine that from the scriptures, it was all business. And I'd imagine that it's, uh, there was day to day. Uh, exactly. Exactly. But the day to day, you know, it's not as, it's not as fun to report on. It's not, it's not as historical record to report on. Um, but I think that's, I think that's the missing part. You know, having, having those three children, I had a son um, by John the Baptist. John had already been killed at that time. Mm -hmm. And that was, very incredibly uh, traumatic and upsetting for all of us of how quickly that happened. And that again, um, they tried to blame on uh, Salome. Um, Salome was one of my best friends for having done this tantalizing dance and having asked for his head on a platter. What a bunch of BS. Mm. That makes absolutely zero sense. It is not what happened. Just John was getting too powerful, so they killed him. I think that's a that's much what more they, simple that's explanation. What they, that's kind of what they did at those times. That's, exactly. what, that's what happened to Jeshua. Exactly. What you may not know is they then brought me, I'm his widow. I'm pregnant. They bring me his head in a basket oh, that's lovely. to try and intimidate me. And tell me to stand down, back down, be quiet, just, you know, be under their thumb. And it was horrifying. It was absolutely terrifying. But luckily, when they were gone, my common sense came in and my guides came in and said, the fact that they're trying to scare you that much means you've got some power. You just need to be very quiet about it. You need to center yourself, be very clear who you are, and just keep asking for your divine guidance. So the portraits, the famous oil paintings by several masters of Mary Magdalene showing her with a crystal skull mm. that are trying to imply she's practicing some sort of occult witchcraft or whatever, that crystal skull is actually the head of John the Baptist. And that is him kind of trying to, you know, go all in energetically. And, you know, I've passed on now. Magdalene, Yeshua, let me help you. Um, so that's, you know, that's, that's what those oil paintings are really about that I don't think a lot of people know. So many people that I've spoken to in, in this show uh, have near-death experiences and spiritual awakenings uh they always credit jesus or jeshua to be there to help them to guide them through the process who was there for jeshua and guiding him during his lifetime when he was passing on the cross or in general in general and and both actually like who sure. who guided general, him through this through the process yes in general yeshua heard he heard his father. He heard his divine father. He heard God at a level I don't think anyone ever had. And he came in to deliver a very beautiful, very simple message. God is love. That was simply his ministry to just 
feel that love, accept that love, to be loved, to be loving and kind to one another. It's why he healed animals right and left, not just people. And I mean, that really was, was, was his ministry. Uh, so certainly that was going on. Uh, his his uh, physical parents, um, Mother Mary, and she was a virgin birth because she was able to just like his grandmother, grandmother of Anna, we're talking generations of women who knew how to raise their vibration to such a high level that the divine spirit could come in and could physically impregnate them. So it's kind of like it does happen in nature. What is that called? A hermaphrodite? Um, I think seahorses do it when there's right. not enough males or females, they can switch gender so that it's <laughs> Some of the similar process. Fair enough. <laughs> but um, just could raise, it's, it's all about vibration. It's just all about the energy. And so Mother Mary, that is how she was the virgin birth. But thankfully, um, Joseph, uh, you know, it was such a amazing helpmate and protector because she was, was shamed because this is not okay to, for a young female to be pregnant in those times and to have no husband. This is, this is a big deal. And so he, he stepped in and played that beautiful role of being uh, Jesus's father, just like uh, Jesus became uh, my, my son, um, John's father, because John, of course, did not remember his father. Um, he was, you know, he was, he was killed before, before he was born. So, um, and then I did go on to have two daughters um, with Yeshua. So those three children were just um, absolutely uh, the light of my life and the light of his life. But we needed to protect the identities. To watch the full video, click on the link below. And don't forget to subscribe.